Okay, the purpose of this video is to show you how to uh, import into QFloors estimations or any any kind of um, FSDE compliant customer invoice information from your software, your external software into QFloors. So sometimes people do estimations of window coverings, they'll do estimations of floor coverings. Um, or even sometimes some scheduling and they'll want to get the customer information into QFloors um, and if you use FSDE, it's a flooring standard uh, XML file, uh, we can get those things into QFloors. I'm going to use a, an estimator for our example today on, on how to do this. Um, the one I'm using here is uh, Measure Square. Um, in their uh, software, of course, you're going to do some kind of a takeoff, and then you're going to estimate estimate the quantities um, that are coming from there, and then in there they come to a worksheet where you have to import um, the estimation, and they'll say um, this is how you get it to the worksheet by est estimating uh, the quantities and the prices within the software. That part is all covered in in there and every estimator specific uh, software program you'll want to get with them to find out how to get to that point. In Measure Square at that point you'll come down to export and FSDE. All software would have that type of a, a function. So you want to pay attention to where you're putting this file, this FSDE file. Um, in QFloors, I'm just going to put it in the QFloors estimation folder here. So I save it there and it pops up and it shows me measure 184 FSDE. Okay. At this point you're going to uh, go to QFloors. You're going to create a new customer invoice or a customer proposal. Okay. And so I'm just going to go to the main store. Should come up with a brand new uh, proposal, nothing on it and no numbers here at the top. I can save this one as just Ogden as my last name and that's all I need to put on here keep it as a proposal and hit save okay do you want to save this as a proposal yes okay alright now that I have this in here um, at, it's at this point that I can bring in the estimation so I hit the estimator uh, button down here and it's gonna say uh, you're not configured for Measure Square. Measure Square actually has a, a pretty solid integration to QFloors. At this point, do you want to select a Measure Square application? I'm going to hit No. And then, do you permanently want to disable this connection? Yes. That what that does is it just means don't ask me this question every time. Okay. Um, if you want to integrate Measure Square. There's another video out there that talks about advanced uh, integration and uh, of QFloors and Measure Square. Go watch that video and it will talk more about how you can do that. So at this point I'm just going to hit update invoice and then I'm going to go find my FSDE file. Okay, And it's under QFloors and under estimation and there's the file right there. I click on it. It's going to tell me it's going to take a second to get this stuff in here. Q, uh, QFloors has found new customer information in the FSDE file. Do you want to bring it in? Yes, I do. And if I look just a second, you can see that everything comes in here. You can see that I'm bringing in one um, product line right here, and then the other two are labor lines. All right, so you've got your two labor lines. You've got your one, uh, one uh, line up here, and then you can just go ahead and say you want to save this person to customer contacts you can you can or you don't have to okay now at this point um, there's a few things you can do you can see that it brought in the quantities right um, if you keep it in the proposal state like this right here and if you start to change the colors which a lot of people will you know they'll go select um, a, a color uh, style and a color from the QFloors product catalog, right? So like I have this Radiant Luster. When I select this, watch what happens. It will change my numbers over here on the side to match up what's in my product catalog. 
If you don't want it to do that, let's come back again. If you don't want it to change the numbers while you're changing the product style and color and that kind of thing, um, what you got to do is you need to change this over to an order, which kind of locks everything in. Okay, and it's going to ask me for a minimum deposit if I do that. So I can um, come down here and give it, uh, let's do $3,000. It's asking me for a minimum deposit. Let's see, that's 3000 there. I add my payment, I close, and now it allows me, um, it's going to allow me to, to save this as a, let's see, as an order? Yes. Okay, so now it changed that to order, changes everything to an order. Um, okay, and now I'm ready. If I go back now and change this radiant color to a different one, let me do that again. So here's that radiant luster again. Watch, when I click on it, the numbers on the right hand side are not going to change now. Okay, so that's just one thing to pay attention to is if you do want it to change, keep it as a proposal. If you don't want the numbers to change, change it over to an order and it will keep your numbers there for you. Um, one thing that you may want to uh, pay attention to is, I'm going to come back to this one again. Okay, If you make a change in your estimation or your other things, and you're just changing the quantities and you keep all the styles and everything the same you can re-import it again by just hitting this estimator button again and do update invoice and find your new FSDE file it will update the quantities and the the pricing um, if you keep all the names the same in your estimation file so just something to, to note uh, that's how you bring in an estimation from another FSDE compliant program into Keyflores Thanks.